The so-called pace line resembled a war zone. Cars were hijacked, crashed into the gates that keep communities apart and torched. The scenes that we saw were absolutely disgraceful in terms of the serious criminal acts that were being carried out and the violent disorder that was taking place. Um, and it needs to be condemned in the strongest possible terms. Earlier, teenagers had petrol bombed a bus, <laughs> risking the lives of the driver and passengers. With the Brexit border in the Irish Sea inflaming tension in loyalist areas, the Northern Ireland Secretary returned to Belfast. I'll be the first to acknowledge over the first few months of this year there were real issues around how the protocol has landed for people, both as consumers and those in the unionist loyalist community, that sense of identity. The way to deal with these things is through a diplomatic, democratic, political process. There is no legitimisation or excuse for taking to violence to deal with any of these issues. Under pressure to help restore calm, Stormont was recalled from its Easter recess. The First Minister, who's ill, participating virtually. The harm to Northern Ireland's image in this our centenary year has taken us backwards. And no brick, no bottle, no petrol bomb thrown has achieved or can ever achieve anything but destruction, harm and fear. As political leaders, we must stand united in appealing to all concerned to refrain from further threats or use of violence. It's not right, it's dangerous, it's unacceptable, and it is a miracle that as we stand here today that no one has been killed. This trouble started when Sinn Féin escaped prosecution for alleged breaches of COVID regulations at an IRA funeral. Some of those engaged in the rioting are in their early teens. I mean, the one thing I won't do is sit back and allow people to use young people as cannon fodder. Billy Hutchinson is a former loyalist paramilitary. He rejects claims the main groups are orchestrating this. You know as well as I do, in this society we've always looked for boogie men. I think what we need to be looking for is the people who make peace. Uh, and those people, including the paramilitaries, are still signed up to a peace process. There's a battle going on for the heart and mind of loyalism. And as always, sinister elements are seeking to exploit that for criminal purposes. That makes it difficult to be specific about what's causing the outbreak of violence. At flashpoints like this one, it's even more difficult to contain it when rioters are too young to have experienced life before peace here. David Blevins, Sky News in Belfast.